Well, hello guys and welcome to Showtime TV and also to my YouTube channel. My name is Wa Sheragi Konyo and today we are going artistic manze. This is a day where we are going to talk about art and you know that art is broad because we have visual arts, we have creative arts, we have audio arts, audio and visual arts exactly. But today as you can see on display we have beautiful beautiful portraits and of course that will tell you that we are going to look at visual arts and as you can see our guest is a very very young uh, man who is uh, the mastermind uh, behind all this art that you're seeing here so today uh, sit back and relax and let us learn about visual arts please start by introducing yourself and tell us what you do amazing thank mm -hmm. you so much for welcoming me and hosting me yes uh, my name is victor Muendo, mm -hmm. known as art victor i'm a visual artist yeah, as you've heard, we have so many types of art. We have poetry, we have martial arts, we have uh, drama, we also have graphics like this one. And yeah, this is what I do. Yeah, sure. So um, maybe we can start by knowing about your background. I'm sure people are interested in knowing ah, this young man. When did, when did he start? How did he, how did you discover that you can actually draw? What drew you to drawing? Well, oh, I think uh, art began while I was a kid. Yeah, it began when I was a kid. And uh, I started off by doing some crafts when I was a kid, having the scissors and doing some cutouts. Mm -hmm. And there, as I grew up, I also interacted with a lot of colors and, and dressings, uh, paintings. But I didn't get a chance to explore all that. So I grew up, just studied uh, the 844. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Kurosana in Aisha. At least uh, it's now we're having something like cbc but right? still in the 844 you know that time I, i'm sure you're very young or maybe you're not born mm -hmm. uh when you were kids as you see millennials we used to have art and craft actually as a subject being offered in school uh, so maybe when you when you when you joined primary school by then it had been uh script off by the government yeah. but i'm i'm thinking that they're going to bring it back in the cbc is actually there isn't yeah, it yeah. uh-huh so inter you had so many paints around you do you have like your parents or your guardians have like paintings like a painting background something i think we just had one painting mm -hmm. at the house and it really inspired me mm -hmm. but i had a lot of colored papers okay in manila as well i was growing mm -hmm. up so i used to do a lot of crafts okay. then growing up got to high school found out that i uh, i was in machakos high school mm -hmm. and i found that they were doing art as a subject i tried it wow. in the first year mm -hmm. and uh Kidogo mm. ikakuwa ni kama inanibeba sana, parents were not happy with it. Yeah. So I had to drop art and did French instead. Your parents were not happy that you did art? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I know. There's a generational gap. There's a generational gap. I'm thinking that, um, no, I'm thinking it's actually good that also our parents get enlightened that, yeah. you know, uh, they, as generations go by, uh, things are changing and they should also start appreciating st uh, stuff like art. And remember in the past, you could tell your parents, I want to be a photographer, they'll be like, ah, mtu a picture. They want you to become a doctor or a teacher or something. But anyway, so you've talked about crafting uh, maybe, maybe people don't know the difference between about between art and craft because it was art and craft but now tell us the difference so art is more of like drawing or please explain the difference so actually uh, I just it's very easy like mm -hmm. utenge YouTube mm -hmm. DIY mm -hmm. uh, DIY 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 mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do it yourself mm -hmm. so that is a summary of what crafts are. Crafts are things that you can do so easily. Mm -hmm. They can be done by anyone mm -hmm. who is willing to do. Yeah. But art is more unique. It's a thing that is also a talent. Crafts, you don't need to be talented. You yeah. need to really get to watch a few videos and I know a few tricks then there you go then of course get inspirations for example you know how a certain house looks like yeah. and maybe it has some sort of a shape you just go craft yeah. it out all right so um uh, tell me now how are you able to incorporate to incorporate the colors did you like go to school and learn about the colors that you know that you know when i draw this uh, um, lemon right here the background a green it's going to make the uh, the image pop out how are you able to learn about the colors uh, since I understand that in uh, uh, tell us about your university uh, degree 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Amazing. So mm-hmm. I'm in Delhi and came at the University of Technology. Mm-hmm. Currently in my fourth year, mm-hmm. I'm doing geomatics and geospatial information systems, mm-hmm. and basically surveying. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, my degree has in nothing. Okay, it has something. Yeah. <laughs> Don't say it yeah. has nothing. Yeah. Huh? It has something to do. But at yeah, I I just get inspiration on. I'm traveling to the field, also taking my time with people. Just traveling is most of my inspiration. But mm-hmm. um, about colors now, mm-hmm. uh, of course you start by learning the primary colors. The primary colors, yeah. red, blue, blue green, green. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. Eh? And yellow. Mm-hmm. Yes. Red, blue and yellow. Mm-hmm. And green you will get it from blue and yellow, mm-hmm. mixing and all that. Mm-hmm. Then now on how to get your picture really pop out and what color to use in the background, which other color. Thing that I've learned from photographers. Mm, oh, yeah. photographers! Yeah. All right, uh huh. Maybe you can mention one photographer. You've mm-hmm. got it, an inspiration from. Of course, I I know the photographers that, that I've been working with. Yeah. Like Vince shot it. Uh huh. And check him out on Instagram. Like photograph photographers have done a good job. In yeah. Studying of colors mm-hmm. and getting images really pop out. Yes. So. On contemporary colors, that is what I've been learning on from mm-hmm. the point here. Mm-hmm. Photographers, you know, when study pictures, how sana na shots. Maybe you know, na do an eagle is just about literally you you momentarily capture. Yeah. Ina ku inspire pia ku create your picture from his context. Yeah, yeah, colors in your to me. Okay, so um, I can see that you have a a picture of a first president here, and I can see that you have like uh, painted the fine details, even his wrinkles, his eyes and stuff. Can you talk about a little bit about shading? Because people normally think that shading is just you know scribbling stuff, and but they don't know that there's a way that you're supposed to shade the hair, yeah. and there's a way you're supposed to bring out the contours and all that. So maybe you can talk about just a little bit about shading, and of course you can tell us about the equipment that you use so that if there's somebody out there who aspires or aspires to you know to do art they can know which uh which paints can i use which brushes can i use which pencil can i use what type of shading can i use yes kindly guide us briefly okay mm-hmm. uh, let me begin with this this is a pen art mm-hmm. so that means i used a pen yeah big to be specific mm-hmm. not sharp pointed the other one yeah, yeah i know there is also hb that's a, that's a pen. That's a pen. This is a pen. That oh, oh all these are pen. Yeah, the pencil. pencil. Okay. Uh huh. So, uh, on this you have different types of shading. Mm-hmm. That is cross hatching. You have single stroking, double stroking, and that is stippling and all that. Mm-hmm. So maybe to highlight. Mm-hmm. Um, let's say for example, this edge here. Mm-hmm. We have some single strokes. Yeah. We have somewhere that I've used a cross hatch that is around here to get the texture of the skin. Mm-hmm. And also had some stippling to also get the details of the eyes and also the skin pores around. Mm-hmm. I also did a lot of scribbling on the hair mm-hmm. and also used a white pen to get a contrast of the same. All right, yeah. and the eyes look very, th- they look real, complete. That's supposed to be, hey, that's this is very, very good art. So, what about the lighting? Okay, the lighting we have simply shadows and mm-hmm. light, light parts of our, of our paint or a, or a portrait like this one. Mm-hmm. So, you just focus on, like this one, I had a reference photo. So, you just look at the darkest points that mm-hmm. is like this, and you know where we have. Highlights, you also have a contrast of a white pen mm-hmm. where we have highlights. Then, where we have dark, you, you just shed more, just mm-hmm. shed more, shed more. All like right, you just yeah, shed it more. Mm-hmm. And on pencil, the same, same thing applies. Pencil, you will use though a pencil that is we have charcoal and graphite, you have a wider range of things. You have like HB, 6B. Yeah, let's talk about the, yeah, yeah, the HB. HB is the one that is uh, for even writing, yeah, right? Yeah. So there's a 6B, which is like the darkest, the one that is used for shading. Is this a 6B or is like the... We have 8B. 8B, yeah? 8B is quite good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's quite good. Mm-hmm. And we have a 2H that is used for sketching mm-hmm. so that it doesn't leave marks. Yes. Yeah, after your sketch. Then mm-hmm. you use, you are just shading from the HB adding layers, mm-hmm. you layer, you layer your picture, having the darkest points getting in touch, mm-hmm. 
also having like a, an, an eraser to also find the highlights on the picture, mm -hmm. then you can have even a mono eraser that is in, it has a very sharp edge mm -hmm. like for a pencil, yeah, then you have them the details also put in place. Like All right. The same. Okay, what about the paper? Before you go to the to the painting, what about the paper that you use? Okay, we have different types of paper. We mm -hmm. have Faber Castell, we have ivory paper. This is what I have used. Mm -hmm. Also, people, some other people use Manila and such stuff, mm -hmm. but ivory has proved to be quite good for me. Uh, all right. Okay, so let's go to the painting. Uh, yeah. Tell us more about the play, the painting. So painting, there are different types of paintings. Mm -hmm. yeah, we have a... Uh, Look yeah. at these guys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So we have different types of paints. That mm -hmm. is, we have acrylic, mm -hmm. oil. Yeah. yeah. Basically, those are the ones that I've interacted with. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, these ones here are acrylic paintings. Mm. Like, okay. Yeah, I've done with water-based colors. That is, that is what we mean by acrylic. We have also watercolors, but watercolors are not as thick as acrylics. Okay. They're also not shiny as acrylics. All right. And uh, oil are also oil-based from the name. Mm -hmm. Then uh, mix of colors, Chinanza Tupi are primary colors, mm -hmm. secondary tertiary. Okay. Then, lighting get your reference photo or also your perspective which message are you trying to convey mm -hmm. yeah yeah and we know that art is uh, is is you know imagination or you put it on paper yeah. you paint it or you shade it or you know so where do you get where do you get your inspirations from do you get it from pinterest apart from photographers do you get them from pinterest where do you get these ideas do you just imagine oh my god i'm going to draw like a lemon dropping in water or just do like get these images or you just start drawing and then they just pop i think the world is full of inspirations mm -hmm. like my life mm -hmm. As an artist, kila time ni nakuwa na that eye to everything mm -hmm. that is happening around me. Yeah. Like, uh, even right now, the whole lighting here can just have a certain picture going up in my mind. And oh, I hope you do. Something. I just hope you do yeah. it. Uh -huh. So, uh, apart from Pinterest, mm -hmm. I, I also work with my camera on, like, <laughs> around the streets. Mm -hmm. So, Nikki, notice to a funny move or anything that is quite... Uh, it is worth taking. Mm -hmm. I just have a photograph of the same. Mm -hmm. Have it in my gallery. Mm -hmm. Then someday I'll just have a site to do it as a painting. So do you look and paint, or you just have it in your head and just paint it? Uh, I do both. Mm -hmm. There are pictures that I've done from my mind, but mm -hmm. I do a sketch mm -hmm. and have it in my rough book. Mm -hmm. Then someday I'll now create it a painting from my sketches that I've done from my imaginations mm -hmm. but also i also have work with like a reference mm -hmm. photo all right yeah, yeah. okay uh, that's okay so uh the tracing part of it because uh, for me if i have to do the, the the painting or the oh you know the drawing i'll have to do tracing can you call that art or is actually like copy pasting if i like take a giraffe and then i just you know sketch while tracing can, is that still art is that still legal <laughs> it's just a shortcut okay uh -huh. uh there's been an interesting discussion over time, mm -hmm. uh, simply because you also have people who do big pieces mm -hmm. and they use a projector to sketch. So they just project the picture there and they have the outlines done in a few minutes and they get to work. So I think I have a two-sided opinion mm -hmm. that one, it's okay to sketch, to dress, mm -hmm. But while we were growing up, we had a sketch map and it was unfair. Because you know, you know you're yeah, struggling, yeah. you're trying to apply your skills, yeah. but this one is just doing it so easily. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. so up to today, we have to struggle now to acknowledge that. Yeah, yeah same here. Dress, to not, to not, to not, to Manze, alafu na kujo na nyuzia ati yako like 5,000, but you traced. You know, this is what we actually want as uh, buyers. Mm -hmm. I know that this one is not traced. This is somebody's skill, mm -hmm. pure skills. So tracing, unless if you trace a sketch, but then you do the painting, that one That's is not. That's the other side. Mm -hmm. I just did the outline. Uh -huh. The work begins after the sketch. Yeah. But again, you think... It takes a lot of time to sketch. Mm -hmm. it needs a lot of skill to sketch. Exactly. Yeah, so I think 
I'm still trusting my process. Uh -huh. I'm not stress my things. Yeah, <laughs> you are doing it. Definitely. Even for karika, what will you use? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. So how much? Uh, how long? How much time does it take you to make these portraits? Like for example, this one. How long did it take you? Uh, this was a quick one. <laughs> oh, it's yeah, that easy. Damn, one. guys, it's, it's called one. humble bragging. <laughs> <laughs> No, uh -huh. no, no, uh -huh. of course, yeah. You know, artists know it. Uh -huh. They look at this, this. Okay, I did some good work on the eyes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I feel I could have done better. Mm -hmm. you know, taking more time on this. No, it's perfect. Yeah. For me, it's perfect. It's mm -hmm. so, so good. See, it's really nice. Like, this is like imagination, and you just, oh, you got it from, from a book or yeah, a it, picture. It has a reference. Oh, it has a reference, but, but it did uh, it so well. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, this took almost 50 hours. Okay, wow, 50 hours. Yeah. You said 50 hours are like two days, yeah. more like two days. Eh? Yeah, yeah, but of course, I don't do like one uh -huh. span of 50 hours. Okay, so when I'm tired, I just take a break. Uh -huh. Okay, leave my peace. All right, so guys, you stick around so that you know the costs are per paint because I know there's their clients who are waiting uh, to hear about the, the price. But then, uh, let's ask, uh, let's uh, let me ask you, what is the impact of art in human life? I mean, what is this about? supposed to do in, to human like when I look at the painting in my bedroom what kind of feeling is it supposed to bring like you know Ulysium to we paint mm -hmm. and there's a kind of feeling you want them to feel tell us about the feeling that is associated with art wow mm -hmm. art, art is very necessary actually mm -hmm. in communicating emotions and mm -hmm. such stuff mm -hmm. in a room mm -hmm. uh, basically what art does is it creates an environment mm -hmm. yeah, an environment that I haven't found photographs to create. So, for example, hata nikikuwa na ndimu kwangu yezi hang kwa wall for a while. Exactly. Yeah, yezi hang kwa wall for a while. And in as much as I love lemons, the environment, I'm at the feeling that I get every time I take that fruit can only be expressed by a pain. By a, yeah, exactly. And if you take a photograph of the same, I, I mean, like a painting. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you just, if it, like for me, I love avocados. Mm -hmm. So if I have to paint an avocado, even I, an artist, I, I think I'll have so many portraits of avocados in yeah. Gideri, while yeah. cut. So yeah, I understand. Yeah. That's tough. Mm -hmm. So that's one. Mm -hmm. Like art is meant to create an environment. Mm -hmm. For example, nature, when it's outside there, mm -hmm. maybe you cannot plant a forest in your house, but you can have a painting of a forest in your room. Yeah, exactly. You cannot... Actually, that's true. Yeah, you can be like, I love, I love looking at you know the Amazon and stuff. But you can actually paint the Amazon and put it right there. Waterfalls and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Kind of like therapeutic and yeah, stuff. Yeah. Eh? All right. So uh, tell us about the markets, especially in Nyeri, because I know that uh, well, in Nyeri, art is not all that appreciated. Guys will look at your portraits and be like, oh, this is nice, but they won't buy. So maybe tell us about uh, the market, even outside there. Do you like sell your 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 paintings outside or within Yeri, maybe you can tell us about the market. Okay, the market for art, I believe uh, <laughs> we have been creating it. Mm -hmm. We have been the ones groundbreaking Yeri. Mm -hmm. I don't think whether I know I've heard that there are some people who tried doing art in Yeri mm -hmm. before, but that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, it didn't work out, of course, unfortunately. But what we are doing is when you keep feeding your the people or your target market with whatever you're offering mm -hmm. even if it's not now mm -hmm. over time i know they will appreciate it yeah so that has been it mm -hmm. and uh, since we're also pushing to create this brand and to be really big we have been uh, selling in Nyeri and also outside Nyeri. outside Nyeri. Yeah, yeah and also we cannot limit our market to Nyeri. Mm -hmm. yeah exactly like, even if we are doing it in Nyeri, mm -hmm. it will be more profitable and more yeah, more, more wide. Mm -hmm. have people were also traveling to Nyeri mm -hmm. to have some paintings from Sure, there. Yeah. yeah. So that is our goal and that has been our vision and our focus. Mm -hmm. uh, currently, you're not doing bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. But, you, know. you see, the thing with Nyeri is more of like rural, urban. Yeah, yeah. yeah there, there's that part of Nyeri that is uh, rural and there's that part of Nyeri that is urban. So I, I do appreciate generation z yeah. because you're the ones who are now coming out with such things because now if you during my time you go tell your parent that you went to your parent and then you tell them you told them you wanted to do 
at but they couldn't understand that this is actually the thing uh this you know art uh, what else uh, music this is the, the skills are the ones which are actually bringing people up so it's good that also our parents out there please know that the world is changing and uh, people have lots and lots of skill or lots of skills if your child has a skill that they want to 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 showcase let them showcase it because it's, it might take them some as you can hear he has done surveying but almost all his time he does art because we are all gifted differently by god our god is a god of diversity all right so now this is a uh, modern art right so uh, traditional art i could see people uh, painting using feathers they could put like ink somewhere and feathers and stuff so what has to how has technology changed the uh, the art today okay um is not really modern art <gasps> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Please tell us about modern art. Modern art is basically what they call digital art. Uh -huh. That is using like softwares to do your thing. Oh yeah, graphic designs and stuff. Yeah, and also mm -hmm. people do digital paintings. Mm -hmm. They do digital portraits. Mm, like from mm -hmm. clay, like what? Creating logos. Mm -hmm. It's <laughs> see, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. See, see. Yeah. Sour, mm -hmm. sour. <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. like ni creating logos so apart from this like people also use like styluses and mm -hmm. creating portraits like this one but mm -hmm. fully digital mm -hmm. also you have ai's that have come to generate like paintings uh, kudos oh, yeah. <laughs> So guys, uh, which one do you, are you going to appreciate? Are you going to appreciate the, the digital art, which is, I think is easier than the traditional yeah. art, because this one will take more time. Anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. But now the real art is, now this is traditional art. Eh? Yeah, yeah. So this is traditional art, this is purely from hand, no computers, nothing. So ask yourself, which art should we appreciate as an audience? I mean, I think this one is more of, uh, you know, it's basic, it's not basic, it's more, you know, detailed detailed yeah. yeah because uh for modern art and, and i'm not saying that those people who do tra uh, digital art yeah, is yeah. they are they are also good but they should also embrace the traditional yeah. art but also we are mm -hmm. also embracing it like uh, we cannot really like same uh, is vr is cg ai generated stuff mm -hmm. no mm -hmm. we also have to see what they have to offer yeah then after you see maybe it can be an inspiration now to do your uh, is it like competitive like when you no, check no. uh-huh yes it change uh, yes it change at yes, yeah. too at yes, uh, change. okay insecure about it yeah. mm -hmm. a good job to do so creating <laughs> yeah creating. exactly so apart from paper i can see that your t-shirt is also artistic ah man everything about you is just artistic yeah. so do you like do art on uh, on t-shirts or clothing and maybe you sell so can somebody come to you and tell you i want you to brand my t-shirt is any art do you do that yeah, yeah, yeah we mm -hmm. do that but what we do is not graphic mm -hmm. i have somebody who does for me the graphic mm -hmm. yeah okay then now for t-shirts and like jeans and such stuff we customize them using a painting mm -hmm. like we also have t-shirts that we have mm -hmm. not really branded but had such a painting on mm. it oh yeah. wow but you use different uh, you know yeah, yeah, paints yeah, and yeah, stuff yeah, fabric paints. all right the paint festival guys i think i had it, I posted it on my timeline and there's a near we have a paint festival and guess who was behind it all mm -hmm. victor so tell us about the paint festival how did it go how was the response what inspired you to start it yeah, there's so much i'd like to ask you about it but just say everything in general everything you'd like to people to know about the uh, uh, paint festival in Yeri. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, what led me to start a paint festival is because uh, I had already begun art classes in Yeri mm -hmm. and they were not really doing good. Like People will, would come for two Saturdays and they are gone. Or others would maybe come for a month and they are like, like I don't have something to hang on my wall. Mm -hmm. Like to show people I'm doing art. Yeah. So I was like, okay. Here is the solution. Mm -hmm. So we'll be learning art for three consecutive Saturdays. Then on the fourth one, we'll have a paint festival. That day, I'll create such a canvas, mm -hmm. have my paints, like on set. Everything is provided, then I help you create your own piece. Mm -hmm. to, like, have something that you can hang your, yeah. your wall to show people you are doing art also. Mm -hmm. So that's how it came up. 
I had the first edition that is uh, in April, yeah, mm -hmm. this year, April. And the first edition had like a turn up of 10 people, mm -hmm. which was really good. Mm -hmm. That was oh, that's like good, right? Yeah, you can you, yeah. yeah, expect that. Yeah. Wow, oh, really? Oh. People mm -hmm. because, uh, classes maybe I would have like seven to ten people. Mm -hmm and they were not consistent. Mm -hmm. So even the 10 people, interestingly, they were none of my students. Like, they were people who were interested in it. So I was like, okay, mm -hmm. so even this thing is not for my students. Only. Yeah. So I used to advertise it, and it has been happening the last uh, Saturday of each month. That is once a month, once mm -hmm. a month. After I do three classes, I have the fourth one is a paint festival. Mm -hmm. Then, so yeah. maybe generally what happens during the paint festival, do you like teach guys there, do you like give them paintings, do you mm -hmm. tell them to come with their own stuff? stuff? Uh, uh -huh. What happens is uh, right now we, we it's a sip and paint but it remains a paint festival mm -hmm. for the sake of the name is unique. Mm -hmm. Yeah so the thing is uh, when you, you come for the paint festival mm -hmm. we have canvas paints pencils, everything that you need provided. Mm -hmm. We also have a guy with the drinks. Then you we right now we are not having a common picture that we'll be doing mm -hmm. simply because of diversity and mm -hmm. yeah, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some people just need something simple. Mm -hmm. Other people come somebody told me to draw them so I thought maybe I'll try it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We allow you to come with your own picture that you would like to do. Mm -hmm. Then after you come with, with it we have a set of artists, I am not alone, the, mm -hmm. the Art Victor Gallery is a number of artists. Mm -hmm. So we actually help you do your thing like the whole time. Mm -hmm. So we, after it we maybe have a mm -hmm. spoken word to start us off, mm -hmm. then we get to distribute our pieces, mm -hmm. that's the plain canvases, then paints on each table, then artists also go along checking what you are trying to do, mm -hmm. what you would like to do then. We help you out and you also learn, like, next time you will come, mm -hmm. this is how we find green, mm -hmm. it's no longer primary colors mm -hmm. and stuff. Then, at the end of it all, we have a photography session and that's it. Mm, so that's we'll it. it. All right, guys, wow, well, you've learned about the paint festival and there's still so much more that I'd like to ask you. So I think I'm going to take a short break because I can see my director telling me that I have three minutes to take a break. So stick around if you are inspiring to become a visual artist. This is the episode for you. This is Showtime TV with me, Washare Konya, and of course, Victor, the artist. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the show. Thank you so much for joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to Showtime TV. And of course, don't forget that right here at Pumpkin House, that floor, we have a photo studio where you come and get your best photos as you have had. Art is the way to go, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, we were on uh, a visual arts and of course we have Victor in the house. He's an artist. As you can see, his, uh, his portraits are right here. Beautiful portraits. So uh, time ya kuuliza mambo ya cost i know people are worried because you're saying that uh, you 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 have i know you have plans so maybe you can tell us about those plans and then of course you can jump right into the the cost of your paintings and of course your services wow. mm -hmm. so where do you begin uh we begin with your services what are you planning to do okay mm -hmm. what we are currently offering uh -huh. that is as art victor gallery one is art classes every saturday mm -hmm. from 10 mm -hmm. to 1 yeah, that is for kids and also for adults. Mm -hmm. Cost 200 shillings per class, very cheap. How many hours or how long? That is 10 a.m. Oh, to, to 1 p.m. 10, 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. 200 shillings? Yeah. And where is that? That is uh, at Inspire Library, that is in farmlands opposite Wamutia. Oh, so in Pembetatu, right? In Pembetatu. Okay, all right. So um, maybe are you planning to maybe start these uh, uh, at uh, clubs in schools and stuff? Yeah, or sure. do you go to individuals and train yeah, them sure. too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Currently, we have an academy that is that is what I'm calling art classes. Mm -hmm. It's growing up, and uh, most probably in the near future, we are going to have an art school. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. But before then, we also have uh, art clubs that will begin in high schools and mm -hmm. also in primary schools around Mary. Mm -hmm. That is most probably in the next two weeks, we'll be on set. Mm -hmm. And next year, uh, when they resume, that's when we're going to begin. Okay. Then, uh, the other thing that we offer is that we also give, also supplying art supplies that is paints, pencils, everything that you need 
to do art, including canvases. Mm -hmm. We also do the stretching for you and everything. Mm -hmm. Then thirdly, it's the paint festival, of course. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're having the next one coming up that mm -hmm. is in deck eight and nine. The other thing that we do is art exhibitions. Mm -hmm. We began the first one last weekend. That was all on 28th. We did the first one and it was fantastic. Mm -hmm. So if you need paintings for decor or also you need to really have some paintings for gift, gifting people, mm -hmm. we, <coughs> we are having an exhibition. And that's not only for Art Victor Gallery. Mm -hmm. We're also inviting any other artists around Nyeri, mm -hmm. around the neighboring counties, Hey, from us. all over the country, yeah, yeah. right? Don't yeah. leave me cheat. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah. All right. Yeah, I let me just ask. I don't know if this is a stupid question. I, I've never gotten it. Like now, for example, when I look at your art, I can see that these are uh, an orange, a lemon, yeah, dropping mm -hmm. water. This uh, Kenyatta. That is a man. You know, like uh, it's a, it's a vehicle and two men. But now these rich people paintings, like the ones that are like normally auctioned for like a billion. Yeah. yeah. You just see an image and you're like, okay, what is that? <laughs> Can you like explain that kind of art that is, you know, it's too expensive, but when you younger leave, you're like, is that a fetus? Is that a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, art, 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 art. Art is wide. Like, mm -hmm. We have also abstract arts. Mm -hmm. I think abstract arts, ni atenye. Ni colors too zimechezwa nazo, but mm -hmm. let's explain any exactly kabo but chaza meaning and a feeling mm -hmm. that is bound to the art. But I think people should understand why people price their pieces. So mm -hmm. that is one. Like for example, this would go for fifteen hundred. Well, why fifteen hundred shillings? Yeah, in as much as it has the story, I'm not selling the story to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not like I'm. If you would like it to have a story, the same same piece mm -hmm. would go for even five thousand. Like oh things. wow okay yeah it it has a lot that it comes with and also we have pieces that have appreciated over time mm -hmm. for example like the mona lisa mm -hmm. yeah, hey, the if mona i do it of the same mm -hmm. i can't really sell it the same, the same way because that piece has appreciated over time mm -hmm. and also who has done also the piece so also people buy the name behind the piece yeah exactly it's like if you hear like a local artist is coming yeah. and then there's calligraph jones yeah, yeah. or the people pay exactly. more to go and see calligraph oh, so oh i get it someday the same piece uh -huh. sell it for billion. oh wow okay miss someday all the best all right so uh behind us we have tires yeah, yeah. so that's still art right yeah this is also uh, art. okay Activity. so you can actually take anything and just paint it and make make it look good eh? yeah. like i normally see people taking bottles and spray in paint and all that that is still art so art is wide it doesn't have to be with color i mean uh, brushes and pencils and then there's this one i saw on um america's got talent mm -hmm. uh, a lady was using sand mm -hmm. to like draw on a piece of uh, i don't know a glass or something mm -hmm. that she could create a story what kind of art is that it's still visual art a visual art eh? but it is this is what we call mixed media mm -hmm. you also call things like mosaics mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, mosaics and what, what are the rest? Yeah, mixed media and mosaics. That, those are the things that they do. Mm -hmm. So it is also art, it involves a lot of creativity. Mm -hmm. You are now going beyond whatever is the normal. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, art has no roots. That's yeah. the only rule that we have in art. So <laughs> it you has, can do uh, anything. You can do art. anything with art. That is your idea. All right. Even nail painting is still art. Can you do like paint? If I tell you, like, you know, just paint my nails in, in these colors, yeah, can yeah, you still yeah. do it? Yeah, I can do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I love big tattoos. Yeah, tattoos are okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I just don't love painting small, small things. These ones I really struggle. Mm -hmm. Just love big things. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So somebody is doing tattoos. Somebody is doing nails. That's still that's art. True. That's right. still art. Wow. All right. So maybe you can tell us your social media platform. This uh, somebody wants to reach out to you and be like, I want to meet Victor. I want to talk to him. Yeah. Uh, so maybe. You can give your social media platforms so me and maybe your number yeah mm -hmm. my number mm -hmm. okay my <laughs> number is zero seven <laughs> four six uh -huh. seven zero uh -huh. four six one three uh -huh. zero seven four six seven zero four six one three uh -huh. and that's the same number that i am on whatsapp with uh -huh. then i have on instagram that is at victor gallery facebook at victor gallery 
Twitter, at Victor Gallery, TikTok, at Victor Gallery, mm -hmm. then Face, no? YouTube also, mm -hmm. uh, YouTube channel. Right? Mm. Oh, you Twitter. train people there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, we, we also having our progress noted there. Mm -hmm. So then, uh, what else? We're also having a website which is upcoming in the next two weeks, guys. Mm -hmm. It will be still at Victor Gallery. Mm. Stay tuned for the same. All right. So maybe you can tell, uh, you know, upcoming artists, what, what's your word of advice? Uh, one is uh, don't be discouraged. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Only you knows what is behind your art, um, how you feel while doing art, or why you want to do art. Yes. That's personal. Like, nobody should tell you anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Be listen to people, yeah. yeah. Listen to people, but know what to take. Uh -huh. That's I just maybe it's always your work. Mm -hmm. Art, art is promising. Mm -hmm. Art is good. Just do it, and also you will need a lot of patience. Like that, I must tell you that you need a lot of patience yeah. to pay. Mm -hmm. I think is also quite diligent, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Yeah. Kazi yako, exactly. Kazi, uh, it's quite lazy. Mm -hmm. quite lazy. Yeah, my lip is a quite lazy. Mm -hmm. uh, All right. Oh, good. Oh, that is so good. Uh, wise words coming from a young person. As you can see, in Nyeri, we are talented. Come on, we talented. Nyeri, could you show time TV to pick interviews on what you're doing? Uh, thank you so much, Victor, for being part of the show. And we appreciate your art. It's really, really good. And I hope God is going to take you far and far and farther and farther. And then we are going to be seeing you on big screens and be like, oh, that's Victor. It started off. Uh, right here in Nyeri and is, I'm sure it's going to be an inspiration to so many artists out there and of course in Nyeri let us learn to appreciate art because uh, as you can see it's giving it's paying it's the somebody there are people out there was are very passionate about it so let us appreciate ukipata portraits kama hizo uko inje nunua or at least take a look at it don't just you know like peep uh, take a nut take a take a piece like this ask about it let let us learn how to uh, learn all right so thank you so much for joining us today uh, for today's show it has been inspiring I'm so happy that you came uh, today uh, make sure that you catch other episodes on Showtime TV and also on my YouTube channel at Washirage Konyo I have been your host Washirage Konyo thank you so much I'll see you on the next one